Hi everybody. Okay, here we go with another Club Fungus tutorial. So, you've carefully crafted your master tracks and it's time to send your tracks to the CD replication company for pressing or maybe impress the record company or create for a client's next hit EP or album. Um, basically, we're going to be focusing in on um, Wavelab 9 and Hoffer DDP Player Maker and this is for creating a PM CD, also known as a pre-master CD or DDP, uh, Disc Description Protocol file. Now, this is basically um, the information that's needed for CD replication or it can be used as just a player to send to a, a client just for listening to, maybe they could record it off as a CD um, anyway what we need to do first is open Wavelab 9 um, there we go. and then go to file new audio montage uh, stereo CD compatible we want 44.1 Hertz and we create and then we have a blank montage now we need some tracks to put in there so we go up to the, the top bar and we look for file browser go to file browser I've got some files already set up in a, in a file ready uh, there's 11 files here they're basically um, just some s short samples really just to show you how um, you can set up a, a CD with all the ISRC coding information within the for the uh, replication company or record company or anybody else for that matter uh, so now we've up, we've selected those, we've dragged them into our montage and when this box has popped up um, and basically it's asking us whether we want to put them in a line or we want to stack them on top of each other so we want to just li line them up like we would on a CD um, now to, to keep all these tracks together in one place so they don't move about and shift about all independently we need to go to global press global and now we can uh, can basically move move them all around like this um, there we go there's there's all the 11 tracks there you can actually go in uh, and, and do some editing um, even when it's in in the audio montage you, you know if you feel um, you, you might need to just bring the um, the fading on that one or you you can even um, do, do a little bit with the levels and uh, other effects and stuff so um, but we're not going to go into that today um, basically we're just going to be setting up this uh, DDP replication PMCD um, right so we've got all our tracks in like, like so uh, and now we need to go to CD so we're back up to the top bar over to CD select CD and now we've got some more icons up at the top here and we want to we want to find the, the CD wizard Hey, <laughs> and now what have we got here? Now we've got a two-second gap between each track, which for a sample CD really is a bit too long. So I'm going to go for say 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. Uh, and there's lots of other parameters in here that you can set, um, including the ISRC, which is the International Standard Recording Code. Um, so we can put that in there for example, so uh, I'm from the UK, so it would be GB um, and we'll just put example 17 would be the year and then it's always five digits, one, two, three, four, five and that will start off with number one and if you do have um, a barcode you can enter your barcode here too for your, for your CD so that that's all encoded within in the files uh, so right now we press apply and it's it's made some markers and we've got suddenly boom a lot more information up here we've got start end and length times pauses in between tracks length of pauses and we've also now it's populated the ISRC section with that all important code that uh, your company can trace down and uh, anywhere in the world it belongs to you that record and that's what that that number means basically at the end of the day 
Um, we can now go to CD text. Um, we double click on CD text. Like you see, it's now brought up the first track um, within that list on the montage. And it says, did you do long drone 156? Now, 156 is just a BPM, if anyone's wondering what that means. So now we can go over to the, the right hand side of this little window and there's two little red arrows. I want to go for that, that uh, the right hand side one and press that. And now that populates all your tracks down the list with the title from within the metadata that's on the track that you dragged in. All these tracks that you dragged in, you can add metadata before you actually drag it in. So it will contain all your other information. Um, including times of tracks, length times, which is all up here. So now if we uh, we scroll down, you can see they've all got the names on there. So now we need a, an album name and we'll call it Fun with, oh, I spelled it wrong as well, with Fungus <laughs> and Performer and Club Fungus and songwriter Kit State. Oh, yeah, there we go. And composer, yes, that will be me again. I'll just put that in the arranger, me, message, um, peace, and unity, my dear friends what the world needs more of and disk ID um, well this could be off a client or your record company but I'm just going to put one in there for now uh, right and we go back over to the right hand side of this this window here now we've got some little buttons here uh, these basically going to populate the rest of those tracks with that information there so we press that one two three four five this is only if you need that information of course you might have a different writer or a different singer or performer or composer for each one thus you'd have to go through each individual one and do each individual one so there we go they're all populated now and we press ok boom suddenly we've got some more information CD text quite a lot actually probably don't really need all that but there we go it's just an example of, of what you can do to be honest with you um, so right now we, we've got all this set and um, we could do with saving the file to be honest not saved it have we um, so let's find somewhere to save it um, we can find a file on the desktop um, pop it in fun with fungus um, and we'll call it fun with fungus fun, fungus <laughs> and press save okay so now your, your montage is saved you need to go back to it and, and do any more work you can go in and do all sorts of things with the envelopes and uh, re-edit the source file so if that was this that's your source file there you can click on edit source basically opens it up in another window and here you, you would have all your other metadata um, that's contained within that particular file so anyway, let's back to the um, the montage. Um, so we've got our montage, um, and we've got um, MetaDisk uh, for the CD metadata. So I, I've got some already set up because it takes a while to uh, to input all this information. So basically, what you get here is um, a selection of different ways of entering that information depending on what your record company wants or your client wants you can set stuff here so this particular one id3 itunes is for itunes if you upload into itunes you will then get a picture that comes up with your mp3 uh, and the information there is stored within these these sections here so you have to or if you have any lyrics or anything like that you can add those there too um, so there we go, there's the information for that and we press OK and it populates the metadata up at the top and we'll just save the, the montage again like that. Right, so now let's go back to the CD 
and what we need to do is check it over just to make sure everything's right so we've got up here this little little tick box and it says CD check conformity so we'll just click on that and it says CD length is 2 minutes 29 and list is valid so we're okay any errors there you better go back and have a look but see what you've done wrong but it should say valid okay so now we want what they used to be called the, the PQ list um, basically this is the uh, the disk subcode all that information album title artist date all that sort of information is stored on this file so it, we, we click generate audio CD report and we get quite a bit of information up here I'm going to save it as a, an Adobe PDF uh, so come down here and select where you you want your um, your destination file to be <coughs> um, I'm going to put it in with fungus select folder and full me fungus PDF there. Um, there's nothing else we can add there it, there is no barcode with it but I have it ticked there anyway you would have it that ticked um, you can put a little bit of extra custom text in there if you need um, and say OK and what that does, there we go, you've got, the, uh, you've got your cover and now we've got uh, the CD text, so this is what the, the, the company would receive so you get your title, Fun With Fungus, Performer Club Fungus Songwriter Kit State, Composer Kit State, Arranger Kit State Message, Peace and Unity and then we're on to the tracks and here we go we have a list of the um, the dates uh, the, the times the lengths the, 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 the run and any messages composer messages who, who's composed it all the rest of it etc uh, shut that down so that that's now saved so now after that we need to go to create the DDP file um, which is basically the single file that will be sent to the CD replication company um, once it's been um, created within Hoffer DDP player so right we'll create write CD or DDP and we get a little window saying um, where, where it's going to go um, so I'm going to select a different folder it's just to show you what is actually inside that folder um, so desktop and um, we'll just new folder um, DDP files EP ok select folder customer's name club fungus contact person me Kurt S-T-A-T and we'll just leave it out for now you can add a little bit more information if you wanted and press OK and it starts writing these, these files that will encrypt all your tracks within them uh, DDP files successfully created and we say OK and we'll just close that down for a moment in case there's any problems we can go back to it uh, and we look for the DDP files EP which is over there and this is basically what you get inside that uh, that folder so this is all your, your, your music all stored and all that information now stored within this encrypted um, method uh, so now to, to open and listen and play and do all sorts of other things burn CDs and, and stuff we need to go to DDP player maker um, so this actually makes the DDP player um, that you send off to your, your record company or your CD replication company right, so we've opened that up and we'll go to file load DDP image um, and it's in DDP files EP you say OK bang it's populated the whole thing um, as you can see all that information is now within there you've got your ISRC International Standard Recording Codes for each one you can play from 
within this this player the sounds. <laughs> Let's go on to making the player anyway, and we can have a, a look at that later. Um, right, so we go down to make player. Uh, I'll just get rid of the reset that image, and I can show you. So basically, on this, it's a very simple setup screen to be honest with you. That you get a, a splash screen for when you, you load your player up. So when you, your client first clicks on play, you'll get a nice, fancy little picture pop up. And that should be at 800 times 500 pixel. Uh, there we go, and that, that's set there now. Um, and you can have a little bit of text to appear on the bottom line of the player. So I've got, please visit my music mastering services on the link below. And there's a link, so you, there's a, be a link in the player that, that's great for promotion. So you could maybe have it to your SoundCloud account or anywhere else that you wanted basically to promote. So. We can go and test that link now as well. So it says uh, subwav.com music mastering services. So we'll just test that link, see if it works. Yes, and there it does. Thankfully, it works. <laughs> and we we'll shut that down. Uh, so now we've got some other options here. You've got player can burn CDs of the DDP image. If you have this clicked, you can basically it'll make a player that will burn a CD. Or if you have this one clicked, it will make uh, audio files that can be downloaded from within the player as WAV files, full high quality, as you put them in there. Um, or you can just have it as a player, which is great just for sending off to clients, because it, it's a great player for just playing. It, it really is. It's very good and high quality and doesn't degrade any of your sound. Um, so anyway, we're, we're going to set this one so that it can burn images and download tracks too and we're going to make all this as one zip file and it's all nice and convenient for the client or the company to access your files from one place easy to send over the internet okay so we'll press make player and zip file um, and we can just make that straight onto the desktop to be honest it's making play DDP player spinning about creating zip file having a spin more spinning <laughs> and it's done uh, DDP have been successfully created in folder okay uh, I think we can shut that down to be honest right and that's what we've, we've ended up with now we've ended up with this zip file DDP files EP zip so let's open that up and we have oh, uh, no I don't want to buy it now I've got the free player um, here's your list of files what was in that folder before but now you've got player as well and you've got the Hoffa DDP player for Windows or it for Mac so you've got a choice of the two so we'll double click on that and this opens the player up get rid of that just click on the splash screen and it'll go away and we've got an option to burn a CD on this particular one uh, or you can go and uh, save the audio files so you can select a few different options there to do uh, obviously you wouldn't do this unless you wanted to share your files and with uh, the record company and the, uh, the CD replication company you would just send a player uh, one that couldn't be encrypted and all your, your files are nicely saved inside uh, so that's basically one for that and we can you can have a listen to the files we've got a, a didgeridoo there is the first one uh, uh, some step wobble robotic sequence robotic space sequence actually 136, wow. Ooh, spicy man. Uh, sci fi retro action. 144. Space bubble. 
Space train. One three six. So they always these samples loop at uh, that particular speed. <laughs> nice pan, man. <laughs> Take me higher, man. Wow, 1990s telephone dial tone. Wow, I was old enough to remember. <laughs> UFO lift off. So there we go. That that's how to create the uh, the Hoffer DDP player. Uh, with Wave Lab 9. I hope you enjoyed and uh, catch you all later on another Club Fungus adventure tutorial. Cheers, bye.